Hey guys, Jake back here again with the Buckeye Bushcraft channel and I'm right outside of my cabin today. So if you hear some, you know, cattle going nuts or anything like that, don't pay any mind to it. Um, but anyways, what I want to do today is kind of talk about and demonstrate how you can start chaga with flint and steel. Um, of course, most people know what chaga is in this community. Um, I live in Southern Ohio, so there, there's not really any around me. Um, what we have is horse hoof fungus, and I'll actually post a couple pictures the, um, showing chaga and horse hoof fungus, and you can kind of see the, the difference of them. but chaga is more prevalent up north. So like I said, I don't have that much around here. So I typically buy big bulks of it on the internet and just have it shipped to my house. That way I can experiment with it all year long or use it or whatever I want to do, make tea out of it. Okay so, guys, so we've got our chaga here and what we want to do is process it down. You can use your knife for it. You can use a saw. Um, I prefer my saw on my SAK just because it's easier that way. I got a couple different pieces. You see, I've sawed on it over time. And so basically what you want to do is just come in, start sawing. And it creates a very fine dust. I'm starting to chip these pieces off. You want a pretty good amount for this. There's nothing really special about it as far as how much you want. I'd say probably size of a silver dollar, something like that, because this stuff is going to catch an ember very easily. Scrape it all into kind of a pile. It's like this. So now what you want to do is you want to get your flint and steel set out. Just kind of spread this around just a little bit. Kind of set your steel at the base of it and use a flint just to strike the sparks down on top of it. That's the easiest way that I have found to do it. We got one that caught. So let it sit for a minute. It's almost like a bow drill ember at this point. You see it smoking and this stuff like I said, catches an ember very well. And you can see how fast that that ember is actually growing. Just cover it over top. And chaga is one of those materials that whenever you get an ember on it you're going to actually have to snuff it out you have to push it into the log or into the ground or whatever to actually get it to go out and this can also be used as a coal extender say you're going away from camp for a while if you throw a big piece of it on your fire or a big piece of horse hoof fungus on your fire you could uh, do that to just kind of keep it going you could use it to carry fire Set this piece right here on it real fast. And you can see it actually catches the end of that on fire as well too. So you could see how well that actually works as far as flint and steel with this. You can also use a ferrocerium rod to do it. If you want to catch one piece on fire or, or chunk, you do it that way also. <clears throat> Typically whenever there's a couple different striking methods, I'm sitting down, so I'm gonna use just basically just push my knife down the rod 
<clears throat> typically what you want to do is you want to actually put your knife in a hammer fist, plant it onto the ground or onto the top of your boot and pull the rod down, showering sparks onto your tender. But where I have such a small area, this right here will work just fine. So you can actually see So you can actually see that we've actually got a coal there. Just from striking it with a fair serum rod too. I mean, you can do this really all day. If I wanted to get another one on fire, what you gotta do is bring your rod down. And there's another piece. So this stuff goes up really, really fast and catches an ember very, very well. Well guys, that's pretty much the video on how you can start chaga using flint and steel. You can also use me obviously using flint, flint and steel without any charred material. That's really the way you can do it. You can also do it with horse hoof fungus, which I'll do in the future whenever I go out and collect some. Guys, I'm Jake with the Buckeye Bushcraft channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Buckeye underscore Bushcraft, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.